Hi everyone! Welcome to Tim Pan Alley Two. We are here for a very last concert of 2021 season. How are you doing, Sam? I'm doing pretty well, Dur. I'm sad this is our last concert of the year, but I'm looking forward to the new year. Amazing. Yeah, like it's like 2021. It's a wild year, and you know, like I just got my booster, and uh, I'm just bracing myself for the winter, and and. And I cannot wait for 2022, uh, which is I hope it's gonna be a very exciting, a better year for all of us. So, uh, what's going to happen tonight, Sam? Tonight we are hearing work from three new writers. We have Dylan Schifrin, Justin Payne, and Joe Bador, and we are so excited to hear their work. Yeah, I have listened to their materials. The materials are so good. It's just a perfect way to round up this season. So, like, without further ado, let's just head to the interview, shall we? Let's do it. Hi, everybody. We are so excited to have Dylan Schifrin here with us tonight. How are you, Dylan? I'm good. Thank you so much for including me in this. I'm so excited to be part of it and to show off some work. Yeah, <laughs> amazing. Like Dylan, like you and I, we are we are classmates at uh, BMI Musical Theater Workshop at Bob Uh mm -hmm. But the audience wouldn't know. Like I know, so I know a lot about you. But what about our audience? Let, let 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 Can you tell the audience a little bit about yourself? Yeah. So I'm a writer and composer lyricist. I am. Yeah, I am in the BMI Librettist Workshop with Dura right now, which is such a blast. I'm also, I'm doing a writer's group out in LA at I Am A Theater, um, which has been super great and, and to be developing a new play with music in that. Um, but yeah, I, I went to Yale, I majored in musical theater there. Um, I've been writing and composing uh, since then and since even before then. And it's so great to have this opportunity to show off some work. Um, Cause I felt like the COVID year was very isolating and now to finally be able to, to start reaching people is is really great. Um, I'm also currently based in LA, but I, I mostly live in New York. I'm doing the bi-coastal life. So here we are. <laughs> and what a life that is. Um, all right, so we're gonna hear some songs from your musical, Y2K, a survivalist musical. Can you tell us a little bit more about it? Yeah, so this show I wrote as like my thesis show um, at Yale in the musical theater curriculum there. Um, and the show is, a lot about uh, sort of echo chambers and misinformation. It, it follows this uh, young doomsday prepper um, who comes from like this Y2K era doomsday prepping society that has been living off the grid now for the years since Y2K. Um, and they, they sort of um, have devolved into this misinformation culture and it's all run by her father who is this autocratic figure who like sort of keeps everyone deluded and in the dark and developing their own weird conspiracy theories. Um, and the story is about this doomsday prepper's escape from that world and kind of her first encounter with the real world that she thinks will sort of be this place where everyone lives for the truth. Um, because that that's, you know, sort of what she has been striving for her whole life. And now she's suddenly like realizing that, you know, her own people kind of don't know what the truth is at all. Um, but then, you know, she, she slowly starts to realize that the real world, basically the truth is even harder to find than even in this weird doomsday prepper sort of conspiracy world. Um, so yeah, it, it's really sort of my reaction to, um, yeah, to like a lot of what we've been seeing now with uh, like forum culture and QAnon and um, echo chambers and social media and all of that good stuff. But yeah. That's, that sounds a very exciting, such an exciting journey for the, for the the lead characters. And so I just cannot wait to, to see more and hear more. Um, so also Dylan, I know that you are also pretty big on TikTok. So <laughs> what is it like to create uh, content for uh, for that platform? Yeah, so I write for the channel Pixel Playhouse, which is a TikTok-based musical theater production company. And it's so fun. We write these like these short, like little one-off TikTok musicals. Um, and yeah, to write sort of for that form is very interesting. It's really like about I mean, you know, like lyric writing, you have to really be super precise and exact with like the lyrics that you're choosing. And it's really a process of like stripping it down to the bare essentials. It's really, this is like that, but to the extreme is because you really only have like 20 seconds to work with. Um, but yeah, it's about like sort of keeping people engaged, you know, writing about something relatable that people are going to be into and will share. 
Um, it's about, you know, I, I personally believe that like the best content will always rise to the top, but sometimes it is about like optimizing content to like fit the TikTok algorithms. Um, it's about like, you know, what, what sounds are going to be trendy? Like what, what terms can we throw in? Um, that will like sort of just grab a wider audience, but yeah, the channel has been growing. Um, and it's so fun to be involved sort of in that way and to just be putting stuff out there. That's so fascinating. So cool. I'd never even thought about like the algorithm, how, how that affects. So clearly yeah. we can hear some of your work on TikTok. Uh, where else yeah. can we hear your work? Yeah. I also have a website, uh, dylanschiffrin.com. You can go there and listen to some stuff and look at a few other writing samples I have up there. Um, but yeah, check it out. That's awesome. So without further ado, we are presenting three songs of your musical Y2K. So let's head to the song, shall we? Sure. Yeah. Thanks so much again. I hope you enjoy these songs. Me, crazy, have all the shame we've been calling us bonkers for hoarding supplies and living in bunkers so nobody dies. Like that's something we find some surprise in. Do they know what's on the horizon? If they think prepping is moronic, ripe with ignorance, a waste of life. Just wait until they meet their demise instead of us. They'll see the enterprise and a whole new light. Unless there's nothing on the we do we do to survive but is it sort of demented i was taught to shoot to kill at the age of five and all my life i was taught to think that when they'd come they'd come wanting war but those boys were tame and now i looked crazed for diy in my own c4 because riley unless they're messing with your head it didn't seem Is it whack to stick out till the shit hits the fan? Is it deranged to pray for the end? Always had the perfect bug out plan, but a plan without cause is just pretend. And if it's nuts to hide behind a scope of a rifle with absolutely no chill, then is it all that nuts? I'm losing hope that Y2K will show, cause still I'm thinking Riley. Is the fallout really near, or are you just a crazy thing to fear? What are we missing? Do the supplies, provisions, guns, and gear keep us safe year after year, or is that all insane? What are we missing? Is bracing for some looming threat? While the rest of the world passes by Society's got its share of ills But do any compare to living a lie? Cause if I've been ignoring something big By keeping myself so aloof Only a whack job would dare me To stop and get out and find some proof What are we missing? I'm not one to miss a shot Let down my guard and ask 
ask them why Which I've been meaning to learn for a while. Can you teach me? Um, sure. You just make a loop, make another loop, then pull them together till they almost overlap. Just take it one step at a time, and the rest will, you know, reveal itself. Jeez, you make it sound so easy. Is that an A-frame? <laughs> she can build an A-frame. Pass me another bridge. She's on her A-game, and she clearly has rehearsed. What are you doing now? Kim. That's a first. sound like you're from a 90s rom-com. Um, is that like a dot-com? I mean, 90s culture is kind of in, but people don't really say fly. Well, what do people say now? Um, lit. Lit? Like fire? Uh, fire is another one. You know, you know, when something is so awesome, it has its own radiance. You know, um, you're pretty lit, Riley. You're, you're fit too, I mean. Kitchen knife, oh, not like machete. You, you must have something else to defend yourself with, right? Like, like pepper spray. You mean bug spray? Or gas mask? Or flares? Uh, bandana? Flashlight? <laughs> That's so. You're so. I know. I, it's got to seem really unimpressive. I mean, you're on a whole other level. Brave. Is this happening? I almost want to shout. If society is filled to the brim with boys like him. Well, we've been missing out. Is this happening? Oh, dear, dear. When I look at him, I feel something real. Alive. I feel alive. Never had this feeling. Just trying to survive. In my field guide, the, the woods are dangerous. dangerous. That's what they say. That's what they're always telling us. She makes me feel. She makes me feel. You've only made. Don't trust her yet. He makes me feel. 
here. Oh, use my headband. What? Go ahead and reject me, Riley. Sooner or later, everyone does. Every day brings more abuse in school, the scouts. So what's the use? They treat me like a sad excuse, like nobody could care for me. So every night I disengage, find these anons who share my rage. I binge read every page and feel like they were there for me. I know it's wrong and toxic, but what else could I do? That was all I knew. Till I met you. I know. But we're survivors. Both of us, we were poisoned by the people around us, but we're still hanging on. I wasn't poisoned. The colony wasn't just guns and paranoia. Used to gather around a fire, played a song, sang a choir, call each other's world entire.
fantasy. A crazy fantasy. go back. It could keep you there, and I'd never see you again. We were us, and you were them. It can still be us and them. It was them. Hey everyone, we're so happy to have Justin Payne here with us tonight. How are you, Justin? I'm doing well. How are you? I'm doing great. Hi, Justin. We're so excited to have you here. Can you tell us a little bit about yourself? Hi, yes. So I was born and raised in Omaha, Nebraska, and I am a graduate of the University of Nebraska at Omaha, which is UNO for short. And I got my master's at Michigan State University, and both of my degrees are in uh, classical voice performance. So I studied opera for seven years and then wow. decided later on that, you know, um, that wasn't the path that I wanted to go. So I decided, you know, I would I would go head first into the musical theater. So here we are. Wow, that sounds great. Uh, Justin, so you later on, you are going to present some songs from your musical, uh, Bell Tear. So mm -hmm. can you tell us a little bit about this musical? And I happen to know that you're the, there's some cast recording available online. Is that correct? Yes, that is correct. Um, so Belt's Hair is a story about self-discovery and um, knowing your self-worth. Uh, I wrote it at a time in my life where I was transitioning out of a, a few friendships that I had had for a long time, and I didn't know necessarily how to process those. And so I went back to you know, the very basics. And it's like, hey, you're a songwriter and a composer and you write plays. So, you know, do that, like use that as therapy to get through this tough time. So I did that. And Beltair was born in 2019. And we had our first uh, developmental workshop this year, of which we had a cast recording, was able to record some of the cast. And then next year, we'll get our actual full first production. And that recording is available on iTunes and Spotify and Tidal, anywhere you can find it. That's so cool. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. Um, so as you know, this is our last concert of the year. And so we're just kind of wondering, what does the end of 2021 mean to you and your family? Uh, the end of 2021 for me and my family, just it, it means a transition, transition out of um, old ways and old ways of thinking, old ways of doing things, uh, transitioning into, um, I won't say a better way of life, but just a new way of life with a new mindset and a renewed uh, thought process, because we've been through a lot in the last two years, you know, the world has gone through so much. And so the end of this year really just means a transition and a peaceful transition, but a necessary one at that. I like that. So yeah. Justin, um, so we already know that we could find the the, the recording of uh, Beltair online. Um, so what if we want to hear more about your stuff, your works, your other works? Where can we find you, your stuff online? Oh, you can follow me on Facebook at Justin Payne, uh, Instagram at Justin J. Leon. I'm also on TikTok as Painless. Uh, got some promotion things happening there. And I'm also on SoundCloud as Justin Music Junkie Payne. So so many places to hear your work and we are yes. thrilled to hear it tonight so thank you for being here and let's go to those songs thank you hope you enjoy
Home is where the love is, where the peace abides. It's where I find safety from the turmoil of life. We all need a special place where we can go and just be. And for me, home is that place. Home is where we gather to share stories of love. We sit by the fire, reminiscing of all the times we share together, face to face. And for me, home is that place. Everybody needs a place where they can go and be free. That perfect place where they can get what they need. Where special memories are often made. Home is that place. Home is where we sit and laugh over the perfect meal. When we commune with our loved ones, sharing how we feel. We have to cherish those special times and space. For us, home is that place. Home is where the fun is, where we joke and play. We come to unwind after a long day. Where we greet each other with a warm embrace. For us, home is that place. Everybody needs a place where they can go and be free. That perfect place where they can get what they need. Where special memories are often made. Home is that place. Most people don't know what it means to face their fears every day. They just live their whole lives pushing their fears away. We all wish we could live sheltered lives, be protected from hurt and harm. But then we wouldn't be who we are. Our trials make us strong. We need courage. You need some courage to live in the world today With people crying, young folks dying, who will stay? Courage, you need more courage to fight your fears Please stand up tall, face your fears and take a stand It's a cold world out there But you're safe here in Belton These are the tools you need To be the best to succeed Oh, you need courage some courage to live in this world today with people crying young folks dying who will stand courage you need some courage to fight your fears please stand up tall 
face your fears and take a stand. So Abigail, you think you got it? Trust me, I know it's hard. I know it's hard. But the more you face your fears, the closer you are to winning. Really. Hi, everybody. I am so excited to announce Joe Bedore is here with us tonight. How are you, Joe? Doing well. How about you, Sam? Doing pretty well. Well, it's very good to see you, Joe. Um, so sure. why don't you tell us a little bit about yourself? Yeah, uh, so I'm Joe Bedore. Um, I am a, I recently graduated from uh, GMTWP Cycle 30 as a words person. Um, yeah, graduation. Um, yeah, I'm uh, a lyricist, a book writer, um, and uh, I'm, I'm happy to be here to present three of uh, the lyrics that I've written. And we're so excited to hear them. Can you tell us a little bit about how you came to the decision to present these particular songs? Yeah, so when I was thinking about like songs that connect to this kind of season, I have a bit of a different tradition with, uh, with holidays. I, I don't usually take the time to enjoy them for whatever reason. I usually spend my time overthinking. Um, but one of the one of the my favorite traditions actually to do around Christmas time is to sit under a Christmas tree with the room lights off, the tree lights on, and just kind of like stare into it and just let my mind wander wherever it goes. And so like these kind of three songs are um, they have topics that I would have been that I have been thinking about um, in past years and 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 will be thinking about this year so yeah <laughs> that's great and and joe i know that you are also a performer of uh classical music which is really neat and how has that uh, affect your writing as a musical theater writer yeah so i um i actually went to undergrad for music education um and my concentration instrument was voice um, and I got the privilege of being able to perform the entirety of uh, Schubert's uh, song cycle Die Schöne Mürren um, for my recital. Um, so that's basically a, a huge story of unrequited love and it doesn't end well, but you know, uh, it's Schubert. Um, <laughs> so, but like working on that, I, I got a love of, um, you know, the story behind it and like telling it as a performer. Um, and, you know, this, this cycle is, you know, a couple hundred years old at this point, and it still resonates with, um, with me and with the audience. And we had, I had a lot of great conversations with people that, um, that were listening that, that day. Um, and I was, uh, motivated to, you know, you know, I want to do that. I want to, I want to tell stories that, you know, 200 years from now, still relevant. That's amazing. We can't wait to hear how your songs are relevant now and also in 200 years. Um, so is there anywhere else we can hear your work? Yeah, um, I have a website. Uh, you can just go to jobador.com. That's J-O-E-B-A-D-O-R-E.com. And yeah, all of my stuff is on there. Uh, my recital's on there. Song Cycle I'm Working On is on there. Bunch of stuff's on there. Well then, but for now, like without further ado, we are presenting three songs of yours. So let's just head to the songs, all right? My grandma had a patchwork quilt she worked on it then. She got it as a girl and she loved it since then. The quilt was well adored, though I never knew why. Just the mention of it, my whole family started to cry. The quilt was always coming loose, and everyone groaned. 
It makes suggestions constantly of how it'd be re-sown Cut some off or sow some more Would be there fervently I was too young then It made no difference to me Mama took the patchwork quilt when Grandma passed away She tried her best to preserve it and love it the same way But there were some patches Mama couldn't rightly keep They had patterns that didn't fit and threads that ran too deep The quilt had many holes it ripped my family apart they argued through my childhood and it broke my little heart the Years went by and I grew up but still I couldn't see I thought who cares what our quilt looks like It made no difference to me Then I look at the quilt, all this colors and was the quilt that kept us warm well, Mama passed away last night so now the quilt is mine It's my turn to make a choice of its patterns and design I want to make a beautiful quilt one my daughters can use too Now that it's in my hands don't know what to do How do I decide which patches stay and which ones go? Can the history of grandma's quilt tell me what I need to know? No one ever told me then how ticky this would be A stroll and suddenly It makes a difference to me So long as 
is I feel small I don't want to have a part to play I just want to be part of it all I don't fear responsibility Not trying tax evasion I simply find no value in this current life equation I am more than what I do Or who I know or who knows me I'm trying to be myself I'm asking please Can you not see? all these new songs to get to learn a little bit about these new artists it's been such an exciting concert agreed agreed and also what an amazing concert to round up 2021 season we are so grateful for everyone uh, who has been a part of this concert series and the audience uh, online you know in new york city and all around the world uh, without your support like tim and i to concert series wouldn't you know uh, continue to run like until today but uh, we are going to make some announcement at New Year so please stay tuned please follow us on social media and we will see you in the future thank you so much for tuning in have a great night good night Tim and I, we too.